is ale. Yeah. We've got Ardenburger. Woo! So here is a big bag of plastic to look at. Bubble wrap. <laughs> oh, it's red. Oh yeah, it's sexy. Nice. Right, I bought the sexiest one we could get. It didn't come in orange or I would have got orange. There she is. Do you want to explain how many voltage and amps and whatever you want to call it? This one was 2,500 watt. No, 2,000 regular. And then it had a 4,600 watt amp peak, which means uh, what it can be jolted with right at the start. So like if you were going to run like a microwave or like an air conditioner, the initial jolt of anything turning on is higher than the constant jolt. So say you turn on the Instapot, for example, it's going to send power to it with a jolt of electricity. And then, so it's going to peak and then it's going to come back down and it's going to sit there and slowly heat up. For example, an Instapot or a kettle is going to slowly heat up one after that jolt. So that's what the 2000 is for. And then the peak is the 4600. So again, that jolt can be 4600 Watts which is more than enough for the Instapot or our laptops or anything like that. So basically we have some fuses in here. Uh, these little things you see here are gonna be attached to one, to, one's gonna go to here and then these are gonna go to our battery, which hopefully now that I look at it, will be long enough to make it to our battery. Otherwise we might have to put it in that other little cabinet. Next is yeah. like hot water tank battery yeah. and we have a little cabinet. so. Or we might have to extend these or buy longer ones. We'll see how it goes with Kevin. Um, and then we're probably not actually going to use these plugins. We're going to, uh, we're only going to put one plugin into here, which would be like an extension cord. And then we're going to cut the end off. And that's going to give us the wires out of the extension cord, which we're going to run into our panel box, our electrical panel. And then that's going to run all the plugins and lights throughout the camper so it's going to take the power from the battery put it into the verter which turns it into uh, what they call 110 which is the same as a wall plug and then that's going to run our our electrical panel which will turn our plug on because right now it wasn't set up to do that it was only set up to plug in the motorhome into a wall socket like at a campsite or somebody's house and then it would power the the plugs that we have which we don't want that because we don't want to have to pay for camping all the time we want to be able to use the brand new battery we just bought and be able to charge our laptops and things like that. So this will take out, make it a whole lot easier so we don't have to go camping uh, as often and pay money, right? So as soon as we start the vehicle, the vehicle will charge the battery, the battery will run to the inverter, to the panel, to the plug, to the laptop. All right. Okay, we won't really know. Actually, I want to turn this back. Just curious. Testing the inverter. Testing the new inverter setup. Hopefully there's no fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah. That was it. You see how much brighter it got? Oh, wow. Okay. We're not done. We have to test the phone that's recording this. Should we test it with something else first? No? Oh, you're good. All right, plug in the phone. Go ahead. Did it vibrate? No. Might not. It might not because you're recording. Hi, guys. <laughs> and now we can just, you can never turn this far left breaker on. Okay. When the fourth breaker is on. Okay. So right now we're running fully yeah. off the inverter? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So if we want to plug in, we have to shut off the inverter. Yeah. And then we can plug in and turn on the, right. the left switch here. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. So the inverter is running off the battery. Because you can't have them both going at the same time yeah. or we'll blow things up. The inverter is running Most off likely. the battery. So this is now battery power. Yes, and then this if is we, the car battery. If we, if we plug in, then we need to turn off the inverter. That's right. Yep. We have power! <laughs> the powers that be! That's right, look that's... Look how much light we have in here. I know! That's the only rule. If if you plug it in mm -hmm. to the city wall, yeah. then you make sure you shut off your inverter. Yeah, before but sorry. I hit the... I can plug it in, I just can't turn that breaker on. Yeah. Most likely. Most likely. But I'll play it safe. Yeah. 